Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Amina and I have three special guests. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Yes, I'm Sophia. I'm Kumar. I'm Shimora. We're here to talk about ATI. Who is your audience? Our audience are youth around the Burlington School District, mainly middle school students and high school students. Why is this important to you guys? Um, I know a lot of my peers, family, friends who are affected by menthol products and are not talked about, so I would just love to educate them. Who is big tobacco companies targeting? Youth and um, people of color. Neighborhoods and the minorities, that, that minorities, um, LGBTQ, the LGBTQ community, the African American community, and the Latina um, community, mainly because they're the ones that can be easily targeted and they aren't in good situations. And so, yeah. How do you guys feel about this? Irritated. Um, Annoyed, really. Sad. They're really careless about what how what they put out is affecting communities even though a lot of the times certain people can be in those communities and so it's just really frustrating and it's hard because they have so much authority and power and because they have so much money they feel like they can use that authority and power to do really harmful things and as a youth as and as a black muslim woman um it's really hard to try to have my voice be heard but i do um try to do as much as i can to you know, say my part and keep it moving. What do you and your group plan to do to change this? We plan on communicating with other people beyond our neighborhoods, so not only are we helping people in the Burlington community, we can also help people in Vermont. Okay. Um, what influenced you guys to be a voice for your you and your youth? Being a youth is, I'm usually like not heard or everyone's like overlooking me because I'm a youth. So, but like these issues like with like mental products are affecting me. Like it's our generation. And so I want my voice to be heard. Um, and influence, I'm influenced to come to ATI because I've seen what um, big tobacco and menthol and jewels and vaping and, and all those type of drugs that are kind of like circulate around that. What has done to like my peers and people I love and people that I feel like don't deserve to be, I mean nobody deserves to be addicted to anything, but like you know it's kind of hard seeing somebody you love and somebody you truly like know and have a connection to and a good relationship with go through an addiction and not being able, and have them not being able to like help themselves, you know? Yeah. So. Ultimately, it's just really great to be part of something beyond yourself, okay. which is why I'm a part of ATI. I agree. Okay. What got you guys started in ATI? Shamora did, actually. Um, she told me about it, and I thought it was really interesting. Um, I didn't think I was going to be too interested in it, because at the time, big tobacco and that kind of stuff wasn't something of interest to me, to me personally. Um, mm -hmm. But... Yeah, and then she got me into it and I decided to do it and I really liked it. And then I kind of just saw things differently and I kept coming because we did a lot of things that I thought, again, were beyond uh, just us. Yeah. At first, like, when I heard about, like, ATI, I just assumed it would be, like, a health class where, like, teachers, like, educate you and they're just, like, throwing information at you. But when I came in, it was, like, totally different. Like, we were doing activities, we were presenting, and it was really, really fun. Um... I can't say why I joined ATI, but I can say why I stayed, and that's because like s slowly we were able to build a big community within ourselves, and it's just so much fun to be hanging out with all my friends and talking and taking action. Okay, well, I would like to learn more about the prevention video you guys have made. Um, well, we were talking about mental products, and how it affects people of color, how it affects us. For instance, our uncle, he's battling for his life and it's just really saddened to see that and how no one's talking about it or... Yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.